Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Wine Mom and the and Critic. Critic. Tonight we're going to be talking about a wine by a very recognizable NBA star. I happen to know this guy. Really? Personally? Really? How, yes. How, how do you know I him? I met him at yeah. a basketball court. Did you have a glass of wine with him? No, but I will today. All right. All right, Paul, let's see. What's this? Well, this is uh, Three by Wade, and this is a, a collaboration with Paul Meyer. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of that great uh, California winemaker. Um, this is a blend of uh, Bordeaux grapes from Napa Valley, um, and um, we've heard tell that it's pretty good. All right. Cheers. cheers. All right, let's cheers. So. Lead us on. Let's swirl it. Okay. Sniff it. Mm. Mm. All right, what do you get? I'm getting blackberries. Yes. I'm smelling a little pepper, like like black pepper. All right, let's taste this. Mm. I've been waiting to taste. Mmm. Mm. What are you getting, Paul? I can hear the roar of the crowd with this one. I can hear a three-pointer. It's it's three by Wade. Well, let me tell you something. This is amazing. Do you know what team D. Wade plays on? Oh, sports question. Uh, yeah. He used to play for the Miami Heat, I know that, and then he went to Ohio, Cleveland, I, I'm guessing. The doubles. I like to think that lifting a glass over and over again is kind of a sport. You know, it, it's that exercise, too. right? Almost like shooting, yeah. shooting some b-ball. Hey, let's get down to the taste here. What do you think? Um, I will tell you, it's pretty, it's pretty smooth. It's fancy for me. Smooth. Now that's a term I often hear people use, and I don't quite get what it means. Like, how? Explain smooth to me. Smooth. You know, like a D Wade's bottom, like his head. You know, maybe his shoulder yeah. when he's throwing them hoops on the court. You know. Okay. Um, what would you say this wine costs? I don't know. I can tell. There's, there's a lot of finesse here. It's a Paul Meyer product. The grapes are good. It's a little on the young side. We didn't mention that. I mean, it's a, what, a 14? Oh, yeah. I, I would like to taste this in five years. I bet you could lay down well. But I would be willing to pay a fair amount of the, for this wine now. And if I could, keep it for five years. I bet you it would be a really, really interesting wine in five years. So I would pay, I don't know, 30 35 I would pay at least... $35, yeah. Okay, so we're yeah. in the same ballpark there. Yeah. So do we know how much it cost? $45 is what it costs. Ooh, 45 And yes, you get three. So technically you're paying 130 So. You know, it's not single vineyard. It's uh, We don't know where it comes from, what? really. Uh, we can make assumptions. Look how gorgeous that is, though. Yeah. It's so clean. I don't know. For that price, I'm going to say it is a solid two. My heart, if you didn't. Okay, I would probably give this. No, I would give it actually, you know what, a three. Wow. I do. I just like the fact that it, it, I don't have so much going on in my mouth. Like, I'm not, it's not taking over my world. Like, I can well, focus on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, I can talk to someone. I could be watching him throwing those three pointers. And Well, I respect yeah. that opinion. Um, I think a lot of people who drink Napa Valley Cab expect certain characteristics of it, and they're not really here very emphatically. So they might be a little disappointed by that. But mm. be that as it may, it's a pretty good wine on its own I merits. Yeah. 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 So All right. that's, well. that's it for this episode of Wine Mom and the Critic. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.